Assalamualaikum and hello, I'm Farlina from Kate. I'm going to show you a demo on how to use big blue button function in uh, Prablas. For your information, big blue button function is counted as activity under the uh, under the blended learning reporting. So please go to any of your uh, teaching week under your uh, course and make sure that you turn the turn editing on button and then go to any section and press add an activity and choose big blue button press add right so there are three options here room with activity uh, room or activity with recordings is our suggestion so you can have the whole record um, the whole big blue button session recorded then inside the virtual classroom you can put any name for example here i'm going to use virtual classroom then click show more in the description it is advisable that you use it to make announcement to your students so this is an example of announcement here you can specify the time and also ask them to prepare for certain tasks let's say here i want them to prepare to present the task that um, they have been assigned last week and then ask the student to log in uh, five minutes before I want this to be displayed on the course page and then for the welcoming message I just write welcome hope to have an enjoyable lesson together uh, don't change anything under recording settings as for the schedule you can specify here if you want but for my case I don't want to specify here um, so that uh, the, the session can be um, accessed anytime. Under the activity completion, it is advisable that you change to show activity as complete when conditions are met and then the student must view this activity. Then press save and display uh, to have your first big blue button uh, session ready. Right. So it is ready now and you press join session. So you uh, assuming that the students are ready um, upon approaching the time um, for the session. Then there will be an echo testing connected. Right at the background, you can see that uh, I have the students, several students ready. So this is the interface for Big Blue Button. There are three parts. Here, uh, in the public chat, uh, you can greet the student. Hello and welcome. And then when you close, the students can leave it. So if you see uh, the, the link that is um, on, that means the student has for, has not um, switched off their, um, their microphone to mute. So it is advisable that you click under Users. And then mute all users except presenter. So this will remove uh, any of the noise coming out uh, from the students. Um, it is also advisable that you ask the students uh, to switch on their webcam. Uh, before that, uh, it is good for you to press the start recording button. So the session will start to be recorded. Uh, hello everyone, can I ask you to switch on your webcam please? Uh, the presenter should also switch on their webcam by pressing this button but in my case i cannot use it here because i'm using the webcam for my uh, screencasting purpose so ask the student to um, switch on their uh, webcam please switch on your webcam please introduce your name so there are two students there, uh, Mafusa and Masnida. Hello. Okay, so I have three students here. The acting student. So the first function that I'm going to show is uh, upload presentation. So typically this is what we do in the class to have a file uploaded. So just press here and then go to your course. And then have the file uploaded, choose it and then press upload.
<coughs> so the speed depends on the speed of the, of the network that you are using. Hello students, you are also quiet. Um, you can use the function at the chat to leave uh, comments and also chat. You can also chat with your friends. In the class today, we are going to discuss about uh, a few things in terms of the concepts of artificial intelligence. So, this is the first slide. Uh, in the second slide. Here, uh, this is the plan for today. Um, so, for the students, we can ask them to annotate together. So, just press this function, uh, turn mark user whiteboard on. So the students who are seeing this, uh, so automatically you see when I click this, I can you can see the cursor of the students. So you can encourage them to collaborate uh, and show their understanding. Okay, who can circle the, the word machine learning means? Who first? Right. So Masnida circle that first and then you can see all the students uh, being participating. Uh, they are, uh, so the students have all these functions, then we can proceed to the next page and so on just as in your uh, class. Um, we can also share the screen, so click uh, share screen and then here you can choose and change to application window and choose whatever uh, that you want to present. In my case, let's say I want to show uh, this. Go and select the application. Who is the question I want to show? Let's see. Um, this. Okay, let's say this one. So just choose and then it will be loaded uh, as a screen share. So now it is being uh, loaded. Okay. If we want to stop sharing, just press stop sharing and it won't be uh, shown to the student. Okay. Let's say now I want the student to present something. Um, okay. Before that, can you see at the public chat there is uh, this red button with uh, number 4. Uh, that means there are new 4 new... Um, Four new left messages, four new lines of messages. So this is where it will notify you. As in the chat notes, this can be useful for us to uh, write out uh, chat notes for the whole class to uh, look together. So wait for it to load. Okay, let's see here. I want to put ability. Of AI application, and then we can give instruction. So, all students, I want you to keep on updating the shared notes, and uh, so the notes can be used by everyone. Right, um, student, if you have any question, you can uh, raise your hand. So, to do this, click on your name. And then there is set status. If you want to ask question, you can raise your hand. Uh, what do you think about uh, the slide that I have uh, shown here? Do you like the slide? You can respond by changing the status. If you like, put thumbs up. Right. So you see automatically, this is how the student can respond to you. Uh, the next function that I am going to show is a uh, breakout uh, chat room. So here, just click on users. This create breakout rooms. The purpose is for us to uh, automatically create smaller uh, discussions. Uh, because now I just have three uh, students. So I want to randomly assign them into two rooms. Um, so, they will be able to discuss, let's say, just for one minute and automatically be created. So, just press create and under the breakout rooms, we can see that there is uh, this room uh, created. 
So you can check the student's uh, work or progress by uh, pressing join home. Then automatically you will be going or taken into the room. So while waiting, you can also join two rooms at once. Okay, so hello, hi Mafuza, are you there? How are you progressing? How are you progressing? So in this room or, or in this group, Mafuza is talking with Azirawani. Right, that's good. Uh, can you, uh, so if you cannot hear from the student, most probably because uh, the student is not, uh, has, uh, is being muted. Right, so because the one minute has expired, because I uh, set it very short, so uh, the uh, breakout room has ended. And then um, the other functions are uh, the, so this is to uh, toggle the list. And then under public chat, we can save the discussion and under the users Button. We can also save usernames, so these can be useful for the attendance. Under settings, you can change for alerts for chat if you wish uh, to, to have it switch on. Right. Um, Masnida, can you uh, share something? Can you share a slide, please? So you see now I am demonstrating how I can send a private chat to a certain student. In the meantime, Masnida is uh, uploading the um, slide. I have to press make presenter so she can have the button appeared in her, uh, in her application. So this tiny uh, icon there means that she is being uh, a presenter. Masnida, are you listening? Can you please um, share a slide? Right, so it is now being loaded. Uh, this is the slide presented by Masnida. Can you please explain? Okay. Um, if there is no sound from the student, maybe you can ask if she has a problem. Uh, do you have a problem? Send to her and then uh, she will be able to communicate with you. In the meantime, uh, here I want to check the shared notes because I see there is this red button. Uh, so, Masnida uh, has applied to me under the public chat, if you see here, red. Um, so, some of the students have left information inside the shared notes. So, this will be accessible to everyone in the class. I want to check what Masinda has written to me. Oh, her microphone is not working. That's fine. Thank you. Then, in the public chat, this is um, the response from uh, Mafosa. Okay. So, you can see also when the student is typing something. Right. So to stop the um, okay. So Mafusa uh, has uh, written something. To end the session, just click uh, on the right top and then press end meeting. So the session will be switched or will be ended. And then okay. After you have end the session and log out, uh, you will be taken to this page. But um, if it is just immediately after that you log out from the session, here you won't be able to see anything. Um, in my observation, for every 15 minutes recording, uh, the time taken for the recording to be prepared uh, will be about 20 minutes. So the system will automatically create this for you. The uh, notes from the uh, session. 
included here as well as the presentation. So this is the notes, the shared notes written in the present uh, in the session. This is from the um, the recorded session. So this page, the same view will be able to be seen by your student. So this would really benefit the students to be able to watch back the recorded session. So here, if we just play, this will be exactly the session that we had uh, since the beginning. So that's all. I hope that you have a good session um, and experience using Big Blue Button for your uh, lecture. Thank you.